Have you seen all the commercials? I have Ra- on television. They're amazing. Roundup? These ads. Yeah, it's legit. I've, I, I heard the news. Calling. Oh. The non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Oh, legit. Like the biggest. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Idiots, I'm Corbin. I'm Alex. I'm Ashley. I'm Rick. And uh, today, you can follow us on Instagram, on Twitter. I guess I'm saying it by myself. Well, I was just juicy content. I was thrown. It's so juicy. It's only me today. Well, you didn't do an intro. I well, I did. I was filming you guys. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we'll figure out something, don't worry. Uh, but today, uh, we will be re- doing a movie review of, uh, the film called Dooley Bully. Uh, Deli Belly. I know what it's called, oh, don't I worry. Like, what? <laughs> I, 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 I was like, I need to watch it's that. It's a movie review. And we're here. This is y'all's second movie review with us, correct? Oh. For, what was the first one? First one. Hence my, and they're here. But I, we haven't done one yet. No, they actually no, did one. I did. I no, the two, with both of them. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Uh, but it's a Delhi Bully, uh, directed by. Say his name for me, please. Um. Abine Deo. Okay. Uh, and it's starring uh, Irman Khan, who is, I believe, his nephew. Don't know. Oh. Um, Good. Did you do the homework? Because I don't uh, know. What's his? Uh, Amir. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. That's the one. Uh, Amir Khan. Uh, Veer Das. Yes. Uh, and Who we knew. Mm-hmm. I'm going into this, that's the only one we really knew. And VJ Ross. Yes. Uh, but, uh... No. No. Uh, this film is a dark comedy, uh, which I believe is actually a first comedy of any genre. Right? I wouldn't describe any of the other ones as strictly comedy. And this isn't strictly comedy, this is a strictly dark comedy. No, we've done a lot of rom-coms. Yeah. We haven't... I guess, I guess, um... The seven um, Kun Maf? Kun Maf is oh dark comedy. A, a, this is a different kind of dark. This comedy. is a very that, different. That's kind more of comedy. Quentin dark comedy. Right. This is more like Coen Brothers or Lobster yeah. or Pineapple Express. Yes. This is what this even, is. Even even uh, uh, the Hangover. Yeah. It's yeah. very yeah, Hangover it's style. Yeah. It's not correct. that kind of dark. Yeah. It's comedy. not like Lobster in Bruges. But you want to read this one outside for me real quick, ladies? One of you. Oh, three struggling roommates unknowingly become potential prey of a ruthless gangster. Struggling say gangster. gangster. Okay. Gangster? He usually says it funny. Oh, so I was how do you say it? You an option. Gangster? Gang- oh, don't gangster? say that. Yeah, 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 yeah which yeah, you don't right. like. Yeah, she's right. Don't say Yay. that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, we can uh, start with what we what we liked about the film, uh, and then we can get into uh, what we didn't like about the film, unless everybody just had glowing reviews of it. But the, to start off, um, the, the, <laughs> the film, it, it was definitely a mixed bag for me. Um, but Pun intended? Once, Yes. Nice. Uh, <laughs> but once uh, I, I found out the, the theme they were going for, it was, it was about 20, 30 minutes into the film. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was really, maybe it was because I was, when we saw the trailer, I was told it was a comedy. Mm-hmm. And, and it looked like a comedy. And it looked like a comedy. Uh, and, but in the beginning, it really, I think it was struggling to find its footing a little bit. Or at least they didn't get to the funny parts Right away. The funny parts, I think, really started, and the film got much better once the, the smuggler, uh, what's his face? Yes, who we all recognize from Gully Boy. Good. Yeah. I was hoping y'all yeah. did. Yeah. I was oh, yeah. hoping you did. did. Yep. He is a f- phenomenal so actor. Good. Oh, he's so good. He is, he's really, really good. He is so, so good. Oh, yes, uh, he is. He, and I did some research. He is theatrically trained, so you'll be what a shock. Um, but, yeah, he, he was... Probably my favorite part of this entire thing, even though he's not the funny guy. He's not the funny guy, (laughs) but he had some funny moments, and he's by far. I could watch a fully serious movie with him as the the main character all the time, because yeah, he he has uh, he's so captivating uh, with it. Lexi said this; you'll appreciate it. She said that he has like a little bit of Johnny Depp going on in certain scenes where it's just like he might not agree with that. Mm. But but explain what what you mean by that because you weren't talking about the way he looks. No. Well, it was just the way that he would say certain things or the way that he would look. Okay, yeah. No, I agree. Like, no, I his agree. presence. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that, for sure. Especially when he does his uh, gangster roles. Yeah, like uh, Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp could play that role in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, they just have to pay him $20 million. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> 
but yes, uh, uh, please go into uh, Veer. Veer Das was also one of my favorite favorite. Is that okay? Oh, he's so is that his hair? His hair? That wasn't his real hair. No way. No, I don't think that was his real. hair. Because I was like, I. He literally said, <laughs> "It was like, if that is his real hair, he is a miracle." <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah. And he is. He is just as funny with his delivery as he is with his the stand up that we've seen. When his voice changed. Oh, that, that was, was so, so freaking funny. Freaking so, so many funny so moments. Good. That's how this film was for me, though. It's because um, it had so. Some moments that I was dying, dying, like dying literally dying, dying, dying laughing. laughing because of I love dark comedies. I love it when no. like just stuff that's not supposed to be funny is freaking so funny. like when he was just hanging there, <laughs> yeah. everybody was just around him. I was dying, and then when he was getting his head pulled head by the guy off. behind him, I was dying. And then the minute he first spoke, and it was obvious his yeah. voice was cracked, and I'm like, mm, please oh, keep yeah. that for the next like that was, twenty minutes. That was and they did gold. Yeah, um, Alexis specifically appreciated. When the girl got up and ran into the wall. <laughs> yeah. Explain. Look at yeah. that. That was hilarious. Alexis, because I knew, she I said was, that was Alexis's favorite moment, as well as some others, because Alexis explained. Any, okay, any injury that has to do with being hit in the head <laughs> is so freaking funny to me. Like, what did they, they threw something. It was a multiple thing. It was, it was the, the Russian uh, nesting doll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it hits that guy in the head. Hits the other guy in the head, and then as it's <laughs> falling, I said, please hit someone else in the head. Yeah. Just for Lexi, and it does. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this film so had good. so many of those little moments, and I think that after the first 30 minutes, I don't know if y'all agree with that, but the first 30 minutes were, I was trying to figure out what they yeah. were doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, so what do, are we... Like, what's gonna happen what's here? Going is this a romantic comedy? Is this, what's right. gonna happen? I don't yeah. get it. Totally um, agree about the, your statement of it was it was finding its legs. It's it finding yeah. its footing. Um, and maybe that was the point. I don't know. But um, the, when it started to get going, it was really really good. Especially with just a, a, the I think when it started, when I the first laugh I had, and it was a weird laugh. Mm. It was they were at the dinner table, and. <laughs> He was eating, she was eating a banana yes. with a fork. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We all looked at each other. Like, what is happening right now? I lost it with this shit doing that. And I'm like, okay, that if that's the weird. style we're going for, I like it. Okay, yeah. that's good. I'm here for uh, <laughs> And did you um, like Amir Khan? <laughs> oh, I have something to say about that in a minute. So I, I'd like you guys to give your input on what you liked about the film, because I, I have Alexis, a lot to say. please okay. go for it. I have a lot to say. I don't have a lot to say. <laughs> I liked when he got I, hit in the head. What a surprise. I liked when they got hit in the head. Yeah. But the overall, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. You liked yeah, it. Yeah. Ashley. Agreed. Agreed? Yeah. I think yeah. it was really funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We had moments of, we had at least 10 moments where we were Just dying. Dying. dying Just laughter. dying. Yeah. So um, by far, the edgiest, risque, yeah, and say. raunchy comedies mm. that we've seen from the rom-coms and things that we've seen that fall into that genre. Mm. Uh, in terms I, of India or just in general? No, no, in terms of India, for sure. How many, how many dark comedies do you actually watch? Like, did you watch Pineapple Express? Did you watch... I actually haven't seen Pineapple uh, Express. I regret it. I wanted to. This is one of my favorite genres. And while I was watching, I was like, I don't know how they're going to... Mm. How oh. y'all are going to enjoy oh. this. Oh. I don't know if you are, if you're not, because I, I don't and, know the... And you know what I love, too? I loved some of the stuff that was way just just so inappropriate and wrong. Everything from oh, like, the no. cockroach on the pizza oh. Oh, to so actually hearing the detail of his diarrhea explosion. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, yes. and then the viscosity of the... Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. When it poured out, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I, I verbally... Oh, man. Um, I loved... I loved some... I'm a big fan of slapstick comedy when it's done oh, the yeah. right way. Mm -hmm. Something as simple as like the Verdox moment when they're in the jewelry store and he sees on the camera that it's happening and the and guy is just... sitting there and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. so Three Stooges, yeah. Keystone Aww. Cops, uh, screaming funny moments for me that were subtle. When yeah. he was like, did you... <laughs> Say it. Did you wash your ass with my juice? <laughs> <laughs> and and the, like my butt my juice sticking together, my, which I love right from the beginning. That first shot the director had, which I want to talk about the director of him laying there, and it's just his that plumber's <laughs> crack laying there. I, I also loved the the he's looking at the photos of the guy who had been with the oh, the, the prostitute, oh, yes. mm -hmm. and he's looking at the pictures of him. He's like, is that the tie I gave you? <laughs> <laughs> and then 
he's like, brilliant. don't touch anything. Yeah, don't touch anything. <laughs> no Your one knows. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, brilliant, funny little moments, as well as when they're in the car, and he's got the stuff on his head, and they're sitting there for a moment, he looks at Vera Dawson, and he realizes something, and he says, did they <laughs> shave your head before that? <laughs> <laughs> Little details like that were oh, great so in the good. writing. Yeah. Uh, as was the, I thought a couple things about the directing, which I'm shocked this director didn't have a lot of experience up to this point and still, still doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, He's still not a really renowned director. No. And the first, you know what I noticed first off? I noticed how, be I don't know that I've seen somebody be, it was almost Sanjay Leela Bansali detailed. When? With his framing and his lighting, okay. even the opening shots, um, it's I really it's that. really easy to be distracted by that. And I did later in the film because I was so yeah. just loving the, the comedy, but I was huh. still paying attention. This director's got some. I looked at his, his DP. His DP. I can't find any information on his cinematographer either, mm. because I don't know that I've seen a comedy that has that really. If you go back and look frame for frame. He paid a lot of detail to lighting, yeah. a lot of detail to poetic shots. Um, there was one shot on the opening that almost reminded me of some of the framework in Shape of Water. And I'm like, mm. oh, in a yeah. comedy? Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful yeah. direct and really good attention to try and make sure, like the eye, the con yeah. slowly started yeah. to heal the way it would. That kind of continuity. I just thought the direction And also was like great. all the things in the beginning, like he foreshadowed some of the things that were happening later on. Yes. And so like those moments were just really cool to see. Like you get, you kind of get to see the whole movie in the first few shots, yeah. but not at all at the same time. Mm -hmm. I I'd love to know if the screenwriter felt that the final project was the visualization of what the writer felt. Mm -hmm. um, like that was the one thing at a and A I, I wanted to ask when, during Shape of Water, which is weird to compare those to completely, totally different <laughs> films. But because the film is, is the, I just, I wanted to know is what became the final thing, what you envisioned when you wrote it. Mm. And I, th I wonder how much of the, see it was a pacing thing at the front. Yeah. Yeah. I think we all agreed yeah. with that, that it didn't yeah. find its like, legs and its pace and even its style it felt yeah. like. Yeah. Until about a half hour in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, got, I got bored in a couple spots right. in the first half hour. Yeah, for sure. And then later, from probably the disco fighter music number when she dives up with him. That was a great him. scene. Oh, that was so good. And when he screams sitar. Yeah. And there's a sitar solo with the flames shooting out. That whole he disco fighter, like, the, the whole disco I was rolling on the couch. Was I rolling on the you couch? You were rolling on the couch. I absolutely, disco fighter, and I'm your con man. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Khan, and this if you ever get to see this, him. if you ever get to see this, first of all, we fell in love with you right at the outset of our doing what we do because Three Idiots is one of the first the films person. we ever saw after Gully Boy. And love the work that he did in those first films we saw. Yeah. This is so out of the wheelhouse for him. So fun. Well, yeah, this is just his producing. I know, yeah. but see, I think I that's because it. he knows. I think he understands his audience and knows, I don't know that I can get away with that. Like, in the same way that I know that Shah Rukh Khan is really cognizant of his audience. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he won't do certain films because he knows they won't stomach him, which a, a great actor is going to know their brand. Yeah. And they're going to they're gonna balance being edgy and taking risks, but also not disassociating themselves from the people that got them where they where they are. Yeah. Um, yeah, I get that, but I also don't agree. And with that, 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 this for me was like, okay. Uh, and his end credit disco fighter <laughs> yeah. number, no, which no. didn't we react to that number? No, we, didn't. we didn't react to the song? No. People, I, I have seen the request. Oh, it was in the trailer. I, it might've been. Uh, oh, but okay. uh, I've seen the request for disco fighter. Uh, the oh, song I, and we just hadn't got to it yet it was on the list that he uh, wanted to produce this thing <laughs> is so funny and did that number says a lot about I, I like how weird and stupid mm -hmm. this guy probably really is and in real life even at mm -hmm. the very like after the music video at the very end of the credits when he's just standing there with the guns clapping them together <laughs> yes I, I was saying please stay <laughs> doing stay that there. for all of the and credits and he was just like pelvic dusting and clapping yeah. the guns yeah <laughs> And you know what this I made me think of? All the uh, I've, been I've been waiting to do this for a while. This movie made me think of what is your poo telling you? Oh my god! <laughs> How long did you plan that? The whole time. It's been in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> halfway, halfway through the movie. <laughs> oh my word! 
One of my other favorite scenes that we didn't talk about was the one of the last scene when they're in the room and before everybody shoots up. You can see, and you see everybody is so injured, and that one guy. Oh, yeah, I was doing this. <laughs> oh, and I love when the floor fell through, oh, and yeah. then at the like towards the end when they just are waving at each other. Yep. <laughs> like, so like, yeah. Yeah. Well, and that guy like this, they come in to do the shooting, and he wants to grab his gun, and, and he's goes, like. Oh. And I also loved how, forgive the guy we, we love from Gully Boy, who's in this. VJ, I think. Yeah, VJ Ross. VJ Ross. Yeah. I love that he has a couple of moments where he's a criminal, but he understands propriety, propriety and courtesy. Yes. Like the bell, the bell boy comes, and he's like, because you, you have to quality control. I loved him. Oh, yeah. I could talk quality about him control. forever. Okay. Forever. It's because so he, he had, he's so small yeah. in what he does. That's, That's what what you, word yeah. for word. And obviously, I love that style of just being small and yep. real. And, natural. Um, in a so comedy. Natural. In a comedy. Yeah. Come on! While everybody else is, even though this wasn't a really big comedy performances, no. but no. everybody else was a lot bigger. And um, I love that as another cue to the director of the restraint, because they got yeah. to be slapstick. But it wasn't vaudevillian over the top. Yeah. There were some times that there was. Right, they pushed it. Worlds. Like, yeah, worlds. <laughs> worlds. Like at the end when that guy, that guy was laughing at him um, for getting slapped by the, the fiance. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, no. Oh, yeah. The husband. And there were a couple of those. Yeah, I'm no. not going to judge the movie off of these small performances. Of course not. But, no, um, you just judge that. Were, yeah. Anything. Yeah. The, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Sorry. But he's like, oh, <laughs> <ew." laughs> <laughs> What? No yeah. one does that! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Likes it, so like, How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> yeah, I love VJ Roz. Please let me know, oh. like, what, what can we like, what are his best performances? Because I would, even though I know he's not this huge star, I'm pretty yeah. sure, I'm pretty sure he's like a Paul Bettany, right, in American cinema. Really, all actors know him, respect him, yeah. love him, uh, the larger populace knows who he is, but yeah. he's not a household name. He's not a household name. Maybe. Maybe. That's what uh, we assume. But, but he's fantastic. What do we know? Things we're we've not seen, especially yet. this, I, he was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, even in a comedy, I'm praising the guy that had the dramatic role. Sorry, that's what I do. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> he, because he was, he was solid in Gully Boy. He never had a false moment. He's even he better. Was really he's even good. better in this. Yeah, yeah he is so uh, I would good. love to see more of his work. Yeah, so please let us know what his, uh, his, his best stuff is. Uh, but yeah, what would, you, uh, what would you give this? I'd probably give it a good B minus, B plus. Yeah, um, like on a scale of one to ten, I would probably give this. Uh, if the, the first, whole thing was like the yeah, the last, the last half. half. The first, yeah. I was just gonna grade it according to the halves. Yeah, the first half was like a C. Yeah, yeah. and the yeah. second half was an A. So yeah. I would give it a B plus as a total plus. score. Yeah. Minus, definitely yeah. worth. In I would just let people know, say, hey, when you're watching this, mm -hmm. wait, just, just, just you wait. allow the first half to just be slow. It's gonna not get its legs. You're gonna wonder where it's going, and then you're gonna love the ride. Yeah. Yeah. Laugh. And you're yeah. gonna have a great time. Very yeah. funny. A lot of fun. Thinking about uh, all those <laughs> scenes together, it, it even it makes it even better in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and after discussing it, I'm like, yeah, those those were all really those were all great moments. <laughs> there's literally there's I, there's so many good moments. so many good moments. I mean, this is like for me the amount of hard laughter. Like Anchorman two, I laughed oh, this yeah. hard yeah. in that many times. So that's it's saying so good. Yeah. It's saying a lot. Uh, this is this is a fun movie. Yeah, and it was our, I think our first comedy comedy. So uh, yeah. yes. let us know what we should watch and review next bit. Like I, just to explain, what, we didn't what even bring up. Was that? It was like ninety nine percent. English. Oh yeah, yeah. It's that's also so true. throw me. Uh, I so got throw me. It's so it's throw me. It's so throw me. I didn't know what happened. I was thrown. I got and where fed down. Where are you from? I didn't right know. <laughs> I got, it's so throw me. I got. I told that because uh, I did a Twitter poll to see what. Because we had to react to something real quick. How do you do a Twitter um, poll? Do you hang on it sideways and stick out your booty? <laughs> oh no. Sometimes, right? Uh, but yeah, I did a Twitter poll, and uh, and then on the comments of the trailer reaction as well, they said there was there's an English version and a Hindi dubbed version. They said to watch the English version. Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was very different. That <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> yeah, apparently, it was uh, thought to be very weird to come out with a fully English mm -hmm. film yeah. and an Indian film. I it wonder. Well for us. <laughs> I, I, I obviously I wonder if Amir Khan had had thought. I think this is good enough for us to potentially push beyond Maybe the branch. boundaries. Yeah. yeah, which if that's the case, more power to exactly. you. Guys. Sadly, with Americans, they're most, I'd say 85%, if not more, won't watch films with subtitles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's just, we're we're it's very requiring. We're very lazy. People. Lazy. It's just too requiring. Um, and so that's a smart decision. If that was a conscious decision to kind yeah. of bridge the two, um, because it, especially if it's a comedy, to yeah. get the timing of each thing. Yes. Yeah. 
Uh, when this was done, this was to create pre hangover. So 2011. Yeah, I just I I can't imagine he wasn't thinking this is good enough and funny enough that we can hit as broad a market as possible and maybe penetrate um, into the United States, yeah. which it, it really could have. I mean, I mean the first half. I'm sure people would have a lot of problems with the first half, Probably. but it's so worth watching. Yeah, it is. So please let us know what we should uh, watch and uh, review next. Uh, and by all means.